Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Casablanca's 224. School teachers, administrators, and staff can get one free breakfast per day at participating McDonald's restaurants next week. How about free lunches and breakfast for our nurses and doctors until we see a big curve in this pandemic that's horrible right now, and not the teachers, who, let me simply say this, that are getting paid for these kids being at school or not. What about the parents that have lost their homes and that are still losing their stuff because we can't go back to work till our kids can go back to school? I'm an average teacher who makes $1,500 per week. Can I please get a free breakfast, please? Thank you. Hmm, I'm severely underpaid then. Can we backdate this for all the educators who stayed home with their kids last school year and taught? It doesn't matter what a company does, if they try to do anything free for any specific group of people, you're always going to have choosing beggars demanding they do something for them too. This next one is by Stranger2306. Free McDonald's thank you breakfast meals for teachers and school staff every day October 11th through 15th, 2021 for every McDonald's you visit nationwide. All educators such as teachers, administrators, and school staff can simply head to their local participating McDonald's during breakfast hours. Nothing like a self pat on the back for McDonald's when the meal is offered when we're at work, only during work days. Hi, you should check out Choosing Beggars, you'll fit right in. But seriously, you can't pick up breakfast on your way to work? It's only offered from 7 to 9. Most teachers are already at work by then, or on their way to work, and wouldn't have time. I think a lot of that's subjective. The fact that they're still giving away free breakfast should mean something. And you know what? If you plan your morning accordingly, I'm sure you can squeeze in getting to McDonald's. This next one is from Jerdog. My business is booming, so I need an assistant. Duties include housekeeping and tidying, organizing, cleaning, laundry, some light food prep, running errands, running kiddos to events, 10 to 15 hours per week, must have or be, three referrals, own car, willing to get CPR certification, excellent communication skills, flexible schedule, great with kids, females only, $10 an hour with potential for increase. You spelled nanny wrong, and definitely more than $10 an hour if you want quality. You get what you pay for. I've said that time and time again too. You get what you pay for, but these beggars seem to think they can get the highest quality for no money down. This next one is by Mr. JK. Hi Benjamin, is this still available? Message sent. Not worth $16.50. Yes, it's available. <laughs> Thumbs up. Sense pick. Even better. Cool. Then go buy it. Yours is too much. <laughs> $14.50. With no SSD or hard drive? So what? <laughs> I'm not stressing about selling it off, but it looks like you got nothing better to do. <laughs> Sense pick. Sell your mind for 9 k I'm not the one trying to buy. You must live a sad life trying to even flex to someone you don't even know. <laughs> and your PC setup is garbage. Shut the fuck up, small dick. Aw, did I hurt your feelings? You Viet people have small dicks. Go back where you came from. Well, one could argue you should go back where you came from, back inside your mom to never exist, but unfortunately, that can't happen. And fun fact, they probably got a bigger dick than you because they don't need to talk about the size. This next one is from Green Apple S. Yes, it's available. Would you trade for Smith & Wesson Pallet Gun? It comes with everything you need. It's worth around 115 I'm sorry. I'm a college student trying to downsize, so while it's worth the same, I would have no use for it. I appreciate your offer, though. Come on, man. I'm on a time crunch before I move, and I need them for rallies and derbies and stuff like that outer state. You could sell it afterwards. You could always purchase them and sell your pellet gun? Can't. I have no cash. I move on Monday. I need these inlines, bro. Help a brother out and you can sell the pellet gun and forget about auto. It'll. 
While you did offer a fair trade, they explicitly stated they wanted to downsize, so if they take what you're offering them as a trade, then they're not really downsizing. This next one is by Big Specialty. I sold my trippy bunny because I had a duplicate. I filled out the duplicate form to request a new mint. Didn't hear anything. Sent a follow-up tweet. Didn't hear anything. Sent another follow-up to you and the account. Didn't hear anything. Community care matters. You mean the one I gifted you for free as your first NFT? Ooh, got called out, but it's no surprise. We all know choosing beggars are usually full of shit, and they'll spew lies to get their way. This next one is from Never Say No to Panda. Christmas time is coming up soon, and me and my husband are trying so hard to get our daughter Christmas gifts, but this year we can't that much due to trying to get a house so we're not homeless. Does anyone have or know someone that could spare gifts or know what to do or places I can get free Christmas help? Anything will help. Salvation Army will help. I heard they only give two toys. I just don't want her to have a Christmas with just two toys. Two is better than none. Thank you for the concern. It's just not worth it. Exactly. Especially when she won't remember it anyway. 100% won't matter at that age. You're looking for free. How is it not worth it? One or two toys at not even two years old won't be remembered or noticed. You could wrap empty boxes and kids that age will be really happy. I understand, but that's not how it is in this family. Thank you for commenting though. I don't even understand how you can make a post asking for help for Christmas. People tell you of an organization that will help, and you deem it not worth it. It sure seems worth it to the hundreds of families they help every year. See, this is what I don't get. They are offered a solution. They could go and get the two toys and then try to figure out where they can potentially get more. You know, that's two toys you don't have to worry about securing. But then again, beggars don't think. They bitch and beg. This next one is by Blue Bull Doodle. We'll be in the market for a nanny, not just a babysitter, in the upcoming couple of weeks. I have a one-year-old boy and a three-month-old girl. I work from home from eight to five and will be leaving for my second job as soon as I clock out at home. Hours will roughly be 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. I need someone interactive with my son. He wants someone to play with him. No, I don't expect constant play. I need light housework done. Sweeping, dishes, mopping. My husband will be home anywhere between 6 to 7 p.m. each night. Pay is $40 per day. Three to four days per week, Monday through Friday. Looking to do interviews and learn about people soon. Please PM me if you are truly reliable and interested. $6 an hour? For babysitting and light housework, yes, especially with me and my husband being here for 90% of the time. Are you interested? <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but just because you and your husband are there 95% of the time doesn't entitle you to paying someone $6 an hour to watch your kids and clean your house. This next one is from Flamboyant Tree. When your client asks if you can do it cheaper, that picture is so beautiful and that's really what beggars should get every single time they commit to a price, then after the artist starts work, requests a different price. This next one is by Spacebar Happy Hour. Posted on Facebook Marketplace offering up some free guava. Split it into six bags and messaged back 12 people. First come, first serve. One guy begged us to save him a bag. Said he was already on the way. So my husband put his name on a bag. I told him that bag was going to be the only one left. Six hours later and his bag is still here. We offered it up and someone else grabbed it. People's rudeness is so predictable sometimes. I wish I could say I'm surprised, but I'm not, because beggars pull stunts like this all the time. I'm glad in the end they didn't get the guava though. And our final one is from Writing Badass. Someone posted in a Facebook group I'm in that they had two tickets to see a show, but that they couldn't go anymore because of an emergency. Because of that, they were offering the tickets free to anyone who wanted it. I was the second person to comment, so I didn't expect anything. But after a few minutes, the OP messaged me. The first person who commented was being picky about the seats they were getting. 
so OP offered it to me. I was just grateful to get to see the show at all. We were behind the orchestra, so not far from the stage, and seats for a similar seat in that same section were going for like $60 to $70. The seats were incredible, and the show was magnificent. If the universe offers you a gift, just be grateful, damn it. See, if Choosing Beggars had that mentality, we wouldn't have Choosing Beggars anymore. We wouldn't have these entertaining posts and these people to poke fun at. But in all reality, it's true. This person was given a gift and they were actually grateful. Something I think most people wish choosing beggars would be. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.